inches bigger, sleeping in his bed, 208 yards. Not often that you see moose on the prairies. He's got a huge drop time. Yeah. He's a wide three by three with a drop. Oh, 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 there's another buck. Get your camera. Mm -hmm. I think that doe's got us pegged. She does, she has pegged last time too. That's him and that's a different one. Noon on the last Saturday in November. Look, I see. Good die. Looking at a different deal. Oh, down there. So, apologies to Jarrett. On Remembrance Day, 15 days ago, I passed on this buck, I passed on about five other ones. So, there were bucks chasing does all day. Hunting conditions were absolutely perfect. Reuben wouldn't let me shoot a little meat buck. So he spotted this one, it dropped into a little draw, we worked in on it. Popped over the top of the hill, 75 yards, there was the doe. She stood up, the buck stood up, and I just put one right behind the front shoulder and down, down he went. The best part is, as the crow flies, we're about a half a mile from the truck. So I think this will officially be the shortest pack out of a muley buck we've done in 10 years. So, pretty excited about that part. I may have flinched on the video a little bit, we'll have to, we'll have to see. Well. Let's start gutting this thing.